Hi, today I am here to show you how to make an awesome animated video using Powtoon. So to start, you want to go to www.powtoon.com and then we'll go ahead and log in here using your school Google account. So I'm going to come over here and click on Google. I have multiple accounts, so I'm going to have to select my school account here. And I've logged into Powtoon before, so it's going to log me in to where I can see and start a new creation or I can scroll down and see some of the things that I've made in the past. Today I'm going to start off with just making a blank Powtoon so I can show you some of the basics in creating a video using Powtoon. So here we are loading our awesomeness to get started. You can pick whatever design you would like and you can see down below it gives you a view of what some of the options are going to look like. I'm going to choose a whiteboard today. And for my first slide, I'm going to start over here on the right. It popped up my scenes and it starts with some intros. So I'm going to go ahead and pick an intro here that we can just start with. I like the way that one looks. So um, what I learned the hard way the first time is because a lot of these are animated. What you want to do is click on this gray play slide button and it will show you the order that things pop in so you can see what it's going to look like in real time in your video. Also notice here it's giving you the time of the slide length and then the entire video length, which is the same since we only have one slide. And you can also see it down here that it's six seconds long. And you can make it longer by clicking your plus button or shorter by clicking your minus button here. So I'm going to just quickly change this I'm going to highlight it and change it to an 8, 2018. And my title today, again, I'm going to highlight, is going to be a demonstration. Um, notice that my end went down to the next line, so I could make my box bigger, or I'm going to highlight again, and I'm going to make it smaller. And one thing I really like here in Powtoon is it sh shows you in real time what it's going to look like. All right, so I am satisfied with how that first slide looks. So I'm going to add another slide. And I don't want another intro. I just introduced my topic. So I'm going to tell you some of the specifics that we're working on here today. So again, I kind of like the colors in this one. So I'm going to insert my title. Um, it's got five things. So we're going to go with the five themes of geography here today. And again, I used this slide before. What I didn't realize the first time is that when you play it, it pops them in in a counterclockwise format. So that's going to be important for us here in a minute. So now I know to add my text starting here. We're going to start maybe with location. Place. Movement. regions, and then human environment interaction. I'm just going to use the abbreviation there. Okay, so I've got a nice baseline. Um, I want to add another picture to it, though. So I'm going to close up over here. I'm actually going to bring my scroll bar, hopefully, over here. Maybe, maybe not. If you want more space to design once you've got all the elements there, you can use these little arrows here on the right and left. And I want to... Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get it to pop up here. A little bit tricky on my Chromebook sometimes to get them to pop up. So that's where um, there's another gray bar over here that I'm trying to open here. And see, see, I'm getting the backgrounds to pop up. Um, what do I want to do? I probably want to title it and save it. So I'm going to say five themes so that I can at least save it every once in a while. That will help. And search scenes. I don't want to search my scenes. There. Are you seeing my little pop-up here? That's what I'm looking for. I actually want my props. And I would like to add a globe here today. Usually it brings over a whole little bar here on the side. And it gives you the option to add like or change your background, add or change text, um, add props, and add other animations. 
So I'm looking for a free one. Anything with the pro version is the version you have to pay for. So I'm just going to grab this one. I'm going to pop it in here in the center. Okay. And one of my favorite things here in Powtoon is I can actually record vid uh, audio right in Powtoon. So I'm going to click down here on my little speaker. You have the option to voice over the entire Powtoon or by slide. I'm going to choose to do it by slide here. I'm going to say record. Each slide, the longest a slide can be is 20 seconds long. So I'm going to, it's already set to record the current slide. That's what I want because if I mess up the audio on one slide, I'm only recording up to 20 seconds again. If I mess up the audio, if it's set over here to the entire Powtoon, I'm now recording the entire Powtoon over again. So with my current slide, it's going to do a nice countdown for me, and then I will uh, introduce the five themes here. Hi, today I'm introducing you to the five themes of geography, which are location, place, movement, regions, and human environment interaction. In the next few slides, we'll learn more about each one. Okay, I could play it back if I want to, but I'm going to go ahead and save it for now. And um, right now, this is my second slide. So for time's sake, I'm just going to call it S2 slide two and we'll save it. All right, here I can see that my sound is 14 seconds long. So I am going to want to make my slide longer. It's only nine seconds right now. So I'm going to come over here to the end and I'm going to add it was 14 seconds, so I'm going to have it go probably 15 seconds here and see. All right, let's go ahead and play it back. You can see what it looks like now. Hi, today I'm introducing you to the five themes of geography, which are location. Okay, I just said location, and it's already popped up location, place, and movement. So I can start to move these things around. If you notice down here, each of these says two. And it shows me the two items that are here. So I can see that my item here is the arrow and my title that are popping in. So this one is for location. So I'm gonna scoot it maybe, we'll try right here. And we'll try right here. Now this, I put it on top of other ones, so it's increasing the number of items there and that's okay. So I'm going to just play it from here. Is that what I want to do? Yeah. Let's play it from here. Geography, which are location. Okay. So that was pretty good. I'm going to start scooting these things over, and I can adjust as I need to. Um, but I'm going to keep them from piling up here, and you'll see why in just a minute. I already piled some, which was intentional. I want to show you. All right, so now I've got these four things here. And I want to move my green one over. So I've got just my green one. Okay, so I've got just my green one. So I'm going to move my green one over. And it's on its own. So now I'm down to three over here. And I want to move the title that goes with it, movement. I'm going to grab it right here and stack it back up with my green. And then I'll do the same thing with my, I'm going to have to figure out which triangle is which now. Um, green triangle is this one. That part's easy. Uh, I'm going to see. Yeah, perfect. When I click on it here, it shows me which one it is up there. So it is the one that goes with the green circle. That's the one I want. So I'm going to bring it on over here. All right, and location, and we'll try place, the ones for place here, and we'll see how they match up here. So I'm actually going to play from the beginning of the slide just to kind of see where I'm at here. Hi, today I'm introducing you to the five themes of geography, which are location. Okay, so timing on location was good. Hi, today I'm introducing you to the five themes of geography, which are location, place, movement, regions, and human environment interaction. And then 
All right, so I still need to play with the timing of this a little bit to get it where I want it to be, but hopefully you get the idea here as I'm running out of time. So I hope that gives you an idea of how to do a voiceover here using Powtoon. Good luck with your next project. Thanks for watching. Bye.